Hi there. Let us look at how to create the layered display interaction. It is interesting as it allows you to present content with multiple subtopics from the same screen. Let us see how to create this interactivity. We already know about the interaction settings on the left panel. They are here. Start with the main slide first. Select topic settings. Choose a shape and the color for the main title as well as the titles for the subtopics. We have a circle, a square and a hexagon. Let me go with a hexagon and click apply. You can immediately see the changes. Next, let's see how to add images to describe the subtopics. Let's go back to topic settings. We can either choose to have a color tile or use an image. So let me show you how to add an image. Let me just click on this image here and say apply. You can see here it's changed. Next comes the layout for the topic home page as well as all the content on each topic slide. The layout for each subtopic is customizable. That includes the text, image and video to go with it. You can create a topic with only text and image, only image or text and video. Let me show you how to do that. Let's try and make changes for the first thumbnail. Let's go to layout. Let's choose the topic slide and choose the content type. If we say we want to share a video. So you click on video and click apply. So you see you can click on this icon and upload a new video. Let's try that with the, an image and see what happens. Let me choose an image, click apply and let me edit and I have an image uploaded. I can add some content or text here. Alright, this is done. It's very easy to customize each topic content. How cool is that? Here's a tip. Once you've customized a slide and want to use the same settings, simply copy the slide using the copy icon at the bottom right corner and start changing the content. Let me show you that. So you can see here. This is great for improving productivity right? You can add up to 10 slides in an interaction using the copy icon. This interactivity has some interesting transitions and thumbnails. Finally, before saving the content, preview it from here to check if the images, text and video correspond with one another. Your layered display interaction is ready to be shared with your learners. All the best!